Welcome to Brows and Hose podcast episode. Can't fucking remember. Twenty four. No, it is. No, it is. No, it's not. You yeah. last one was twenty four. Good start. <laughs> Good start. <laughs> nice. Shut up, Danny. You're not supposed to talk yet. Twenty four. Huh? It's twenty four. Oh, okay. Episode 24. Episode 24. Mm. Um, We are in a a new location today. Once again. Um, Once again. Because it's so busy. Mm. And um, we're at, um, I I, I feel like we're at Danny's studio, aren't we? Yeah. We're at Dan's studio. Danny McLaughlin. Um, But we have a guest today. Um, We have a guest, another Danny. Second Dan. Second Dan. Um, Danny Davies. How are we doing? Woo! Thank you for that. A round of applause. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for having me though. I appreciate it. It's good to be here. Yeah, I've got I've got to I've got to go home after this and then come back to this exact studio yeah. later to do to do the <laughs> own podcast. You might as well just stay here. I, I was thinking about it, well. but it's gonna be like three hours, four hours, and you this building's haunted, haunted as fuck. Haunted. And I'm not doing it. Right, tell us about your podcast, Dan. Um it's like this. Mm. But I sit there. Oh, do you? And there's a few more fellas in the room. Yeah. And that's that's it. There's absolutely no plan to it, ever. Yeah. I don't think we've ever, actually, before we've came in the studio, mm. planned anything. No, we, we, we don't. We don't. We, the, our plan when we started this podcast was to have it be, like, beauty-related, but just, like, us in the and salon. That's why you've got me as a guest. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, Sexy Dan. I'm flattered. We've never... <laughs> It's never gone that way. No, I, I was saying before we had the cameras on. I was saying like that's that's how it started the idea. But really, it's just about who we are as people, mm. separate from our job. Complete curveball. Mm. But I've just had a mad idea. What? What we need is a trailer. A trailer. A trailer. We like need a, trailer. a trailer for the like episode actual... or like a caravan. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I was <laughs> going to say. It's... A caravan. What? Like a mobile podcast studio. That would solve all of our problems, you know. And that's really? like, yeah. Going on Dragon's Den. Yeah, you's that you is that being like gypsies so far, like having I mean every, I every am every a, clip I've my, seen in a different My place. family are gypsies, but we spent like nine hundred quid on chairs we used them twice. I know. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. an expensive two chairs. Well, we there. have got a fucking we we've got a camper van, me and Paul. Yeah, I know, but you'd have to rip all that out and that. Why? <laughs> Fit everything in there. Get rid of your bathroom, your kitchen. Well, no, I mean, it's not that posh, but like, you know, we've got like a sofa and a kitchen, little side kitchen. You can fit a podcast stuff in there. So we need a trailer. Yeah. We don't need a saying. van. We don't need I a said van. a trailer. Like an, I know, yeah. Like an empty shell of a caravan. Yeah. Get neon lights in and everything, make it look dead what, cool. One make that we pink. <laughs> one that we pull around. Yeah. <laughs> nah, like you just that. can't do that. Why? You're fucking bored. You know, like you know, if, you, if you say to guests, you want to come on our podcast <laughs> in this come caravan, in the caravan? <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> I don't know. Come We're in the back of our caravan, girl. You can't, you, you, your podcast can't have an Andy. It can't. It just can't <laughs> work like that. You know, it can't. It's all right. It's all right. I would be. Yeah. 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 I'm not going to be on tour forever. I'm going to be on tour forever, is it? Yeah, fair play. Having a big, massive break soon. Then what we're going to do? So what <laughs> locations have you recorded in so far? Because have you been going with Paul on his tour and then just recording as opposed uh, to recording yeah, to where so, you Yeah, so um, the last one we was in um, Glasgow. Very nice. And uh, we'd done a couple of couple of um, episodes there. Um, we, was gonna, we was bringing it, like, all the equipment and doing it in the hotels. Mm-hmm. But it was just, like... If you walk into hotels with yeah. cameras on oh tripods and that, and then that's not a good right? look. Yeah. That, you know. So we were, we stayed in a hotel in Liverpool yeah. just for sh- shits and gigs, right? Yeah. And um, we, we went to go to a beauty event and we was like, yeah, fuck that. Fuck Adelphi. That. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> so we started about the Adelphi. We've got some we stories. in our robes, got in our robes and sat on the bed, nothing underneath. Camera at the end of the bed, two big um, ring lights. And just see where this goes. <laughs> Laurie was like, I need another pillow. So that's call down reception. Be like, can we have some more pillows? So when they open the door, that's what they saw. And she was like, she just yeah, opened the doesn't... door, and there's me in a robe, cameras facing the, the bed. bed. Her in a fucking robe, stuck in the washing machine. Like, oh no, the fella walks in. Ima- help! <laughs> can you imagine Hello, if you? <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine if you was like a like a bellboy? 
Yeah. And you came up to that room, you'd be like, what the I'd be back to Amber Sam's like, hey, get on room yeah. 42, <laughs> be like, Hey, not half a room, so you know, there's something going on in there, you know. Be there, look That's up. a seedy hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know. Now, we was at Hope Street, weren't we? Yeah. It was at Hope Street, yeah. It's a lovely hotel, that yeah, was. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, basically we've just been dotting around and just being uh, all over the place. Yeah, a little podcast yeah. tour, and like my my salon has like slowly turned into like a podcast studio, but um, we need we haven't had a guest there yet. So, okay, um, I think <sighs> I was going to say some of them, but I thought well, better not. Well, um, but there's not like so far we've just had comedians because we've been around. Yeah. Comedians, comedians while we've been sort of like doing podcasts from place to place if there's any group of people who will sit and chat shit for an hour oh, to an I hour know, and a half yeah. as well you've got the I right know. you've got the right little group of people but I think there. down south it's going to be um in the salon it's not it's going to be a different uh different caliber of uh guest it's going to be a different type of guest have you got a, have you got any any specifically well it's, genre in mind? well it's gonna it's gonna be because i'm known there for like beauty and that yeah um it's gonna be people like cause there's a couple of people we've got lined up but they're in the industry yeah but they're funny as well but they're funny okay it's very rare that you get someone yeah. like in that industry mm. that has actually got personality in it yeah I there's one girl not. who's like a tiktok um, she's she does like makeup and that. Yeah, but she lives in Plymouth, so it's about like forty minutes from where we are. Why? Where, where about are you actually from? In, in well, I'm not from Torquay, but I live in Torquay. Uh, is, is that like Birmingham ish? No, oh. fucking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the accents are similar enough. No, my, I'm from Birmingham. Okay, right. Okay, but I live in Devon. Okay, um, and Katie's from Devon. You from Devon? Well, she's born in London. But live in Devon. Mm. Right, okay. I'm just trying to like, sit together. Familiarize Devon, though, myself yeah. with my surroundings, yeah. You sit together. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I grew up in Devon, yeah. So like, um so the pic there's a there's a girl um who is she's like TikTok famous because she done actually she done a freaking um video about eyebrows. Okay. Like a and I just blew up, you know, like oh, like trend, the piss trends of okay, eyebrows. Right, okay, I thought you meant you were just doing an eyebrows nah, and then nah, it just nah. blew up. Trends of eyebrows, like but funny, like a comedy one. Mm-hmm. And she was drawing all these different eyebrows. Um, oh fucking hell, I'll, I'll, Tracy Graham, her name is. You should probably people are probably girls will probably know her. Shout out to Tracy, Tracy yeah, Graham. Shout out Tracy. Um, but yeah, I was on one of her lives on TikTok. I just come. A, like and I, I said, oh, will you come on our podcast? Because I knew she lived in Plymouth. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So she's gonna come on, but she actually does makeup. But it's dead weird because, you know, like I followed her on Instagram for that because I'd followed her on TikTok. Yeah. Completely different on TikTok. Yeah. To what she's on Instagram. Yeah. So on Instagram, she's like, dead. Like, she's not really funny. Instagram is like that it's though you've got to be a bit more like not serious you don't have to because like obviously it, I know what you mean that, but it's, it it's seems so, to be what so gets different if you're trying to get like views or stuff like that yeah on Instagram not like not necessarily serious stuff but a bit more like deadpan like professional like she's more yeah, professional yeah. so like she does makeup she does stick makeup but she doesn't she looks and you seems like a completely different person or yeah. version of herself but i like that i talk. like that because then we're, we're kind of like that yeah so like you could look at like some like one pictures of us and we're like fucking done up to the nines yeah. and then next minute we're like scruffy cunts you <laughs> know what I mean? That's just like <laughs> you it's know actual, it's, it, it should be illegal what we do it's mad yeah so so professional it, catfishing on instagram yeah, yeah. yeah. Like no offense, by the way, that was that sounds yeah, horrible. So no, much. That yeah, horrible. It's it's genuine, but everyone is though, aren't they? Especially women. Like fucking my friend had a catfish, t-shirt, honestly, like that she trained in. It just says you look fitter on Instagram, and I really wanted it, but I could never find yeah. it. Get that printed. Just yeah, you can get that printed easy. on Instagram. Like, Do you know anyone who's, who's like better looking in person? I was gonna say right, there are, or that they, they look exactly the same. Mm. Um. I don't know, though, because I feel like even if you don't, like, edit your pictures in that, 
like if I'm even if I'm out with the lads and like we're yeah. getting like a little group pitch, yeah, we'll take a few. And then if you're gonna put one on Instagram, it's the best one. You look like even as a lad, you don't sit there like editing it all, like doing any of this or any of that. But you'll still pick the one where you look the best. You look the best, but it doesn't matter how bad you make to look yes. at the picture yeah, as long as you look all right. That'll do. Yeah, because sometimes, like even without filters, right? You can take say about ten photos of me. It depends what what angle it is. Yeah. So one, I can look like a fucking council estate scruffy fucker, and then I can look sexy as fuck. Well, I've got a, I've like got snatched. I've got a good side. I've got a better side. Yeah, we have. I, I like I'll always make sure if, I, if I'm getting if I like, want me and one of my mates just taking a little picture yeah. while we're out, I'll always stand on the left because the left side of my face yeah. is better, and that that. I'm nine. Come on, ten. Oh yeah. Try and chat over this side, not there. <laughs> We're like that. We got to sit on sides. This is my. I'm the left. I'm. That's the only bit of vanity yeah. like I'll allow myself to have. Is that even How though my nose looks? For? Sorry, um, it's fair. I don't know about maybe eighteen months, two yeah. years. Have you got like a goal length, or are you just lazy? <laughs> Just lazy, to be honest. Like, I, like I wanted to see, like I wanted to grow my hair a little bit. Yeah. I was sort of toying with the idea of it, but then I was like, "What if you look like a bit of a twat?" And then it looked all right, so I was like, "Okay, I like it. I'll leave it." Yeah. And then I didn't, I, I didn't have any ideas, so I was like, "Let's just, let's just see." Mm. And then I can't imagine you short hair. I'm trying to. Do you want to see it? Mm. It's weird, yeah, yeah. you know. It is weird. Like even when I look at it now, it it feels weird. Is it as blonde? Um, when it's short, or is it darker? I've, not, to be honest, I've never given that any thought, you know. I'll have to because people like with blonde got like a darker root, haven't they? I'm not sure what that means. I'm not gonna lie. Darker root. Yeah, you got like a mousy root, haven't you? And then like what? your ends. Oh, like the bit in the middle. <laughs> mousy root. What? The, the bit like in the middle there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes great. Let me turn further. I'm gonna get shorter there. Yeah, to be fair, it does look darker when it's shorter. Quite Fucking nice, actually. Hell. Weird, isn't it? How old are you there? Um, you look younger. 2019, so I'd have been about 21, maybe 22. Oh. What year are you now? 20, 20, yeah, they've been... What was you 21. doing in that picture? Um, Fighting? That, yeah, that was before the fight, though. They had the photographer in the fight? cage. I don't anymore. You used to? I used to. N- not even very much. I just used what, to... Like, boxing? No, oh, I did like a little, only a little bit of MMA back in the day. I, I, I trained quite a bit. Yeah. But I only ever had a few fights. I didn't really, because like I, I did, I never wanted to do it like professionally. Mm. I used to, I used to tell myself, I was like, yeah, yeah, I could do that professionally, but like there was no way I could have done it professionally. I'd have died. Yeah. I'd, I'd have been Who chopped. Who did you up. try and with? Chopped. Up. Um, I done, I done a little bit of training in next gen. Oh yeah, and yeah. then a little bit of training in the gym in Heighton, by where I live. Oh, right. So, so I, how I long have you done there. comedy for? Um, I wanted to do it since I was like eight. Like my, my dad put Lee Evans on when I was a kid and I was like oh, eight same. and I was all, mesmerised you know what yeah. it all starts from Lee Evans literally I, I was and I'd never seen stand up comedy before ever yeah. and I was mesmerised by it and I was like I was like what's he doing I was like, yeah, like yeah. I don't get it but like I'm into it he's like oh it's stand up comedy yeah. and I was like well could I do it and he was like well not, not right now he's like you're like eight he's like <laughs> maybe wait a few years mm. so then because I did acting for years because yeah. I, I wanted to be on stage doing comedy, but I was too young, so I was like, yeah. I'll do that instead, I can, I can yeah, get yeah. into that. Yeah. But then when I got to like, I don't know, when I was like 10, 11 maybe, and then when I got to about, no, I think about 12, and then when I got to like 20, mm. I, did, I was a bit bored of it. So then yeah. I was like, right, I'm, I'm going to, and then like, so, because my agent wasn't getting me much in terms of auditions. Because you had an agent? That. Yeah, yeah, oh, like, right. I, I'd, done, I'd done like a few big like theatre tours and stuff. Oh, wicked. Um, never, I was never in that. And then, um, and then, yeah. So I, I stopped doing the acting, and then mm. I was—I knew I wanted to do the comedy, but I was like, I didn't know what other people would think of me wanting to do it. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. hmm, I don't know. And then I got to like, I think it was early twenty twenty. I done my first gig at the Frog and Bucket on the Gong mm, Show. Yeah, yeah. And then done another one in the comedy store in Manchester when that was still open on the Gong Show. And then lockdown came in. Oh, right. So I just spent the whole eighteen months. How was you, how, did you, how did you feel going on um, that gong show? Because it's like they can gong you off, can't they? Did you do all right? I I did done the full five off? minutes, did but I didn't have any material. I did, yeah. I phoned them on the day because I was like, yeah, I didn't know yeah. it worked. I didn't yeah, know how to get into it. Slot, don't you? So I phoned them and they were like, oh, "Well, the, um, the the gong show is usually booked a few months in advance because it's yeah. quite a popular show." Yeah. 
Um, and I was in work in the car phone warehouse on at the Monday, time. Yeah, Monday night it is. Mm. I, was, I was in work in, in the car phone warehouse at the time. Yeah. And it was, so it was like five o'clock. I was meant to be in work till seven. I think the show started at like half seven, eight o'clock yeah, or yeah. something. Um, and then they were like, so all you've got to do is put your email down. We'll get back to you when there's a slot for you. And as I was on the phone, the woman was like, someone's just dropped out just of tonight's show mm-hmm. now. They were like, have you got material? Have you got like five minutes? And I'd never even <laughs> been on stage. I was like, yeah, I've got like 15, 20. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was, I've been writing for a while. I had nothing. And she was like, all right, well, I'll put your name down now for tonight. And then when you get off the phone with me, she was like, just sign up with your email yeah. address anyway. So I was like, all right, sign. Phone me, mate. And was like, I need to be in Manchester. Can you take me to Manchester? But I'm in work till like seven. This is like half five. <gasps> he was like, well, how are you getting out of work? I was like, just let me know when you're here. I'll just run out with I was like, I'll, I'll just leave. <laughs> and then it, my mate was outside by about like six o'clock. I yeah. said, so I'm on the way up, stop at man. Tell me once, just grab me a t-shirt, help me wardrobe. Yeah. Cause like I didn't want to go on stage in the car phone where I was polo shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would have been funny. <laughs> like, name bad job. That would have been funny. <laughs> so he turned up and I said to me, manager at the time, I was like, well, I need to go. He was like, well, you're still in work for an hour. Yeah. I was like, yeah. here's the thing. I was like, I'm going to go and do stand-up comedy. He's like, you're not a comedian. I was like, so that's the thing. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I want to be. I was like, so I'm, I'm going to have to go. So I just got off and got no, in the car with two of mates. Yeah. Went there. And then got on stage and had no idea what I was going to say. So what did you say? What what well, did you just chat? Just started chatting shit. And then I told this story. I think I mentioned this on um Hot Waters podcast with Jamie yeah, and yeah. Tony. When I was when I was a kid, I was in B and Q um and Johnny Vegas told me to fuck off. <laughs> because when I was a kid and it was dead weird, I had this like obsession with remember the PG tips advert with the with the little monkey on? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was obsessed with that monkey on the advert. I don't know why. I had like four <laughs> little teddies of it and everything. I was obsessed with it. Yeah. Used to love the adverts. So we were in B and Q one day and Johnny Vegas was in there and my dad was like, Look, there's the feather off off the adverts. Yeah. So I was made up and every time I'd see him I'd go, Monkey And like the first like three or four times he was like, Ha 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 yeah. And then after like seven or eight times, he must have just got sick of it and told me to fuck off. Ah, oh, that's horrible. That. It is, it is. But like thinking back, it, that had done my head in a little bit. If there was I just know, some little dickhead kid. Still though. But yeah, so I was talking Paul about that. Turning around to a little kid and going, <laughs> "Fuck <laughs> off, your mum's a slag." <laughs> to a little kid, that's fucking terrible. That's but um, but yeah, so like, and then. So I was telling that story on stage and I was calling him a fat paedophile. I was calling him a knobhead. None of which I actually meant. I was just trying to be funny. Yeah. And when I came off stage, I was looking around and I was like, there's an awful lot of pictures on the do- on the wall here of Johnny oh, Vegas. Johnny I was Vegas. like, <laughs> wonder why that is. And I went upstairs and my mate was like, I've just Googled it. Um, and I, d- I don't know what involvement he was or maybe still is to the comedy club, but like, he was really heavily involved with the comedy club at the time. Oh. Um, so if if he ever sees this, <laughs> I apologise <laughs> for calling you a fat I reckon, <laughs> I reckon he won't see. Consider that my right. official apology to Johnny Vegas for calling him a fat paedophile <laughs> in his own gaff. Fucking hell. But yeah, it was... Um, and then the, I, do, I just told some other story about when uh, I thought some customer in the car phone warehouse was blank on me, so I got dead weird with her. And then it turned out she was deaf. <gasps> I was being dead like I was being dead like did like that's naughty to her and that thing and like this will show her and yeah. she was deaf like the whole time. See, it's mad, isn't it? Because um, there's this because obviously like being like you start to you know when you have to think you have to plan something. Mm-hmm. I think that scares me more than anything yeah. because yeah. I don't like to plan stuff. Just I get in what life. you mean. I get what you mean. So, I've got to do me because. See, yeah, Sometimes but like. Sometimes I can wing it, but if, if I don't yeah. have a, a plan, I'll get distracted too easy and go, oh, well, I'll try this as well. And then I yeah, forget yeah, the original Yeah, yeah, I know, idea I know. Then. And that's the thing. You've got to have some kind of structure, haven't you? Yeah. But like, um, I don't know. I just th- th- think the, the responsibility of thinking, well, I've got to make sure I get all of these words in mm. and yeah. all in the right places at the right time. It is. Uh, you were saying you're gonna have a go at stand up. Yeah, well, I had, it, I had, I done a couple of gigs oh, you have done in, a couple uh, now, yeah, you? in, um, in October. How did they go? Uh, I mean, they, they're gonna be shit, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. It's one of them, and it's just for. But I shat my fucking. It is. You, 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 like I remember the first. To be fair, up until about even like six months ago, because I've only. Like, it's weird, because in my head, I've been going since, like, the beginning of 2020. Mm. But because I had that 18 months where I didn't do anything mm. other than just write, which, to be fair, came in handy, because that would have been the time where 
all my material. If I was going on stage doing gigs, all my material yeah. would have been shit. So I was just trying to write the whole time, thinking yeah. eventually, whenever we get out of this weird thing we were yeah, in, yeah. I'll get back to you it. So all my material that would have been shit. Like that first year, year mm-hmm. and a half, nobody ever seen it. No. So I was like, "Is right." So then when I, co- I mean, I was never, I still wasn't good. I'm still not great now, but like, I, I wasn't as good as I am now when I first started going again. Mm. But it was nowhere near as bad as it, as it would have been no, if I'd have been able to go on stage. Yeah, yeah. But like, e- up, even up until about six months ago, I'd get on stage and I'd feel my knees like probably shaking in there. <sighs> yeah, it was nerve-wracking. I think, I think I was saying, I said this like, I think it's just, I think the more you do something, mm. the more you make it normal. Mm. That's it. Like the more. Because because I'm like I'm I'm good with being myself. Yeah, right? I'm fine with it. I don't feel like I would need to do a yeah. character. And I think you're that kind. I think you're like that as well. Like like I think you don't need to pretend that you're someone. You can just be yourself. It but gets like, tired, and I think. Yeah, but like I feel like like when I, what I discovered from doing it. Yeah, them two times on that one night. I discovered that I wasn't being myself. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And it fucking done my head in. It pisses you off. I was ah. doing it for ages. It, it was literally, I'd say only, probably again about six months ago, because it was, my biggest thing was like, I was never, I was never like putting like a character on. No. I was always. It's an exaggerated version of yourself, would you say? Um. It was. I don't even know how to how to explain it. It was like version. It was like I was trying too hard, hard. to yeah, be to myself, be, yeah. and then in the end, I found myself <laughs> just like hiding behind the material a little yeah. bit. Because in my head, it was like if I just hide behind the material and they don't laugh, that's a rejection of the material, not uh, me yeah, personally. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So that's I was like, it, so it was like if I go on and just be myself and be dead laid yeah. back or or do whatever, and then they don't laugh. It's not the material you don't find funny, it's me then. Yeah, so it was yeah. easy for me to sort of say and like just uh, behind that. But then yeah. in, in the end, I was like, like if, if I want to take it seriously, I've got to get over that at some point. Yeah. Yeah. So then there was one gig in particular at Hot Water where I'd had a few, I think I was doing a 15 minute set mm. and there was a few new bits at the time that I'd been writing that I hadn't, I hadn't done yet. Yeah. And I hadn't even finished writing them, but I knew sort of what direct it was they weren't even written it was just ideas still and i knew sort of what direction i wanted to take them in so i was like, like what i thought to myself right what i'm gonna do rather than still trying to work on them in the background and then just doing the material like i know yeah. i i don't know this material at all so i'm just gonna go on stage and just do that mm. and then i've got no choice but to just be myself then because mm. i'm more focused on trying to figure the material out than yeah yeah putting the putting the show on and then after that i was like oh sorry. i was like that was, that was all yeah i, I think because yeah. like you know you know, just like telling the story, like yeah. you would your mates or whatever. Yeah, I think sometimes even just doing that is just like rather than trying to be clever and yeah. fucking over complicate things. I yeah. think. Yeah, you like do. you try and be really smart and really like, clever with your wording and fucking and all that. And but I think just telling the story. Um, I think doing like doing podcasts and like before with, with Paul and stuff, and I used to just tell a story that was just normal, mm. and then people would react so like re- get a good response, yeah. and I'd be like, "That's mad!" Yeah, like, yeah. You just like there's so much value in such like things you would never expect. Yeah, for comedy, because yeah. comedy like you can use anything. Yeah, literally anything. And this is we. I, I think it's just interesting cause to. I always like to hear like you know how other you know like people like yourself mm-hmm. like comedian in the industry how they figure out what they're they're doing and like what they write about or yeah. what they're going to talk about yeah. and stuff mm-hmm. like that i just i like to hear it because like obviously I, I know obviously i'm married to paul yeah but paul is only one way of doing things paul is weird because he doesn't write yeah anything and he just talks he just takes a story a real life story yeah and he'll just keep talking about it until it evolves yeah that's the but i find that works in the way for me sometimes <laughs> yeah like, sometimes if i try too hard to write something like i'll write my way out of it and then i'm like ah oh, it's not funny no and then i'll flow yeah. like a, a possibly like a potentially good idea the way because i've tried to as you said like overcomplicate yeah. it too much by trying to make it funny 
Yeah, because I, because so I, so I found that you know when you write, um, I started writing, but word for word. Yeah. Because I found like if I don't write the exact words, then I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna forget what it yeah, is. Yeah, you lose. But that. then. I feel like if you write word for word, then you're literally reading off a script, mm. or that you, yeah. or then you've got to remember a script, and yeah. then that's freaking pressure in itself. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I'm just try. I'm trying to like, I like to talk to people about how they do things because, um, because Paul is no nothing yeah. to go on because he's a fucking <laughs> yeah, anomaly. <laughs> what, what, what helps me sometimes when I when I'm when I'm trying to write, one of my mates is in the navy, um, and. Loads of the comedians that I spoke about them loads on 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 our podcast and on others as well. Loads of the comedians now they were like my favorite podcast because I've always been into stand up comedy. Yeah, yeah. It was just only when I turned like twenty two, I think, yeah. I decided right, I'm actually gonna have a go with it rather than just watching it and thinking, and just thinking I reckon I could it. do it. Mm-hmm. I was like, just, uh, at least have a go. And so me and him used to watch comedy all the time anyway. Mm-hmm. We'd sit and us get stoned and watch, and he'd be like, oh yeah, there's this feather as well, and like now loads of them people that I watch with him. Are like some of my favorite comedians ever. Yeah, yeah. So like, but like, because he's watched it for years himself as well. He's never done it, but like, he's got an understanding of like how it works yeah, at least. Yeah, he, yeah. Even they like, like he, he he'll say he hasn't, but like whenever I'm if it's I a natural understanding. Yeah, like if it, I go yeah. to him with an idea that I've got, like even now when he's on the base, if he if he's not doing anything and he he's got a couple of days free, I'll spend t- the whole like two three days with him on Facetime, going over ideas. And then the pair of us will sit there and we'll, like and we'll, and we'll, and then in, in the end, uh, two days later, I've got, I've got like a fucking 10, five to 10 minute bit written Mad that, that, that it, I wouldn't yeah. have got if it weren't for him helping me with it. Yeah. He's sick. Like he, but he's helped me loads of stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. I think that that's a, that's a funny thing that you say that because, um, like, I think this is why cause people have, um, said to me, I mean, like I've always loved Stand up yeah. comedy. I've always loved anything comedy, and yeah. I went to I went to uni and mm-hmm. done performing arts. I've always been into acting and, and ed drama and freaking everything like that. And um, but I always used to like make even if it was like a serious thing. I used to always be the funny. I used to get in trouble for that in uni and in college because they'd, like, they'd be like, "This isn't meant you to be a funny scene. Your wife died." Yeah, yeah, but then <laughs> you'd always like drop a line that was just so inappropriate, <laughs> and I. And that and and then I thought maybe uni is not for me yeah. because it was t- it was teaching me things that I didn't weren't asked about. It's teaching you how to try and be good at things that you are maybe not even meant to be good yeah. at. I think that like anything creative uni wise yeah, is an absolute waste of time. Like, I went to uni for two yeah. years and studied um, music, but I have never felt so like not creative yeah it's hard to regiment it too much yeah. it's, like, too, it's too structured like, sometimes so, right you need to write a song it needs to be in this bpm like this time signature and i just like no yeah <laughs> i don't want it to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I've, I've dropped out of uni twice me yeah i went the first time and i was doing i was doing an acting course yeah. but like it was when i was doing loads of actual acting work in plays where they were paying me like sh- the thousands of pounds sometimes to do these yeah. tours and then I was going to uni and getting some little dickhead who was a failed actor trying to teach me who was doing it how to be an actor. And I was like, that's not adding up. That's I was like, like nah. it doesn't make sense. So I, I yeah. dropped out. And then did it, like, I was like, right, I'm going to drop out and I'm going to be really productive. And then spent like 18 months just mm-hmm. doing acid and smoking weed. And I was like, that's not. <laughs> I was like, this is. I was like, this so is productive. I was like, this is. Yeah, I was like, this isn't why we dropped out of uni. So I was like, right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to uni, but I'm going to do philosophy and psychology. Mm. Was there for maybe. It was a big part of comedy. Yeah, of course. Mm, so, but like, that wasn't why I was doing it. I was just <laughs> yeah, doing it so, yeah. that me, so that my mum and dad didn't think I was just some little a dickhead. Bum. Yeah, that was it. I was like, I was like, I know I'm still living in your house for free, yeah. but I'm in uni. <laughs> and they, and they, I was like two months in and I was like, this is shite. I was like, I wouldn't even want to do it. So then it was, it was sort of, it was then when like I decided to, it was after I dropped out of uni the second mm. time. Like, there was this, I always wanted to do comedy yeah. since I was a little kid. Yeah. And I was like, this is out of all the stupid shit over the years that I've wanted to do that I've tried. You, you know, you try different things that yeah, are in yeah. the, around yeah. the industry. Yeah. And it, and because you're so naturally, you're a naturally funny person. Thank you. Right? And you don't take it seriously, do you? Like, yeah. when you can you look back? Yeah. 
you think, why am I such a dickhead? Like, that's what, what it was. Why am I a dickhead? Because then literally what you just ca- you try and do this and you've got this talent. Yeah. But like what you didn't realise, it's mad until you look back and go, fucking hell, I had it there all it along there the in whole front time. of my face. Mm. Just going, do fucking comedy. Well, even <laughs> when I was a kid, like, when I look back to when I was a kid, I remember there was... There was a family party we went to, and it, and it was when I was still I was I was, I was maybe like ten, so I was still in my Lee Evans mm. phase when I was a kid, yeah. and I was and there was a, we had this family party in a function room. I forget what I forget what the occasion was, but mm. there were all all my mum's side of the family was there, um, and they had left the microphone plugged in on the stage. Yeah, so I was like. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on stage, and I'm gonna. T- I'm gonna try and be funny. Yeah. And then I started I trying to remember Lee Evans' as jokes that I'd watched with me dad, oh, God. but couldn't remember them. Oh. So I just started taking the piss out of my mum's auntie. <laughs> I can't remember what <laughs> I said. I can't remember what I said. Made her cry. <laughs> she started crying, and then my mum and dad were like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And I was like. Oh, I want to be a comedian. And like, well, don't, 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 don't you need to cry. <laughs> so then, like, but then even looking back at shit like that, it was, like, it was there the whole yeah. time. It was there the whole time, yeah. but it was because, like, that was out of, like, I was, for years and years, I was trying to do shit that I thought, if other people see me doing that, they'll go, oh, isn't he doing well doing that? Yeah, yeah. And so I was like, I don't want to go and do that, because it's like, I was thinking, like, what, what the fuck am I going to do with that? You know what I mean? And then yeah. in the end, I was like, that's the one thing I'd wanted to do the whole time. Why have I not at least tried it? Because I'd always watch comedians, mm. and I'd be like, I'd be watching them, and I'd like, like I mean, I'm still young, and I, I, like, because of the because of the lockdowns and that, it took a big chunk out of where I should be already. Yeah. But like, I'm still only really new in it, mm. and like, yeah, yeah. some of the things that I've done already, like, I'm I'm really happy with, and like, mm. like, it's not like I always sometimes feel like I shouldn't have done that yet, yeah, but it's yeah. like I I still don't know where where it's gonna take me or what I'm gonna be doing in like ten years, yeah. but. This is the only time ever I've went, right, okay, I'm going to do that. And it started to work. So yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm just going to stick with it and see you've where it ends up. You've got a really successful podcast, like you mm. and your other lads. What's the other, what are the, what's the other lads? Um, um, so there's, I don't want to fuck it up. There's Gary, who I'm putting to where he sits in this room. <laughs> Gary yeah. sits there. He, Gary he sits does there. stand up as well. Yeah, and um, I, I, he was there at Hot Water that night, weren't he, Gary? Oh, yeah, she used to yeah, be there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, That's the first time I'd seen Gary do... Um, and he's t- and he was he. I yeah, know yeah. I fucking love Gary, you know. Yeah. But like, and then Bobby's next to me, and then Matty says next mm-hmm. to Gary. But like, he, even Gary as well, though. Like, like I'd wanted to do because I, I, even when I was like all through like like sort of like school and like college and that, I I, I used to watch podcasts all the time. Mm-hmm. So I'd always wanted to, to do one of them as well. I'd always wanted to do one, but like I didn't know the fucking first thing about it. And then when yeah. I very first started doing comedy, I got invited. Um, onto some of these podcasts and, mm. it, and it, it was not on like it, it was not on huge at the time mm. but f- for me it was because it was like the first time i'd been asked to do something like that so i was made up yeah and then gary was there he, i think i think he was on the podcast as well mm. but he was more so the producer because he had yeah. all of the equipment like he had like the camera he had the mics he had like the roadcaster thing as well so so and then i got on dead well with gary um and then I seen that he knew what he was doing with it all, so I spoke to him. So was it called? What's that? Was it called that before you started? No, no. So, so, like, I think, I mean, I think there's 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 other there's a there's a radio podcast I think in Ireland called the What's Happening Podcast, yeah, but yeah. I didn't know that until after I'd already started mine anyway, oh, okay. because I was it's sitting right there, I was sitting down with with my little brother because he my little brother made the logo that that I we used for our podcast. He sat up because I was saying I wanted to do it, but I was like, I don't know, I don't know. So yeah. he sat up all night without telling me on Photoshop oh, yeah, and yeah. made the logo, oh. and I meant you've got to know. So I've just been up all night doing that. <laughs> so I was like, fair enough. So I got it, I got in touch with Gary, and I was like, right, look, this is my idea. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I want to call it, blah blah blah. He was like, "Well, look," he went, "When you're ready to go with it, he's like, let me know." He's like, "I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever you need oh, me to that's do." Cool, then. He was on board straight away. Yeah. Um, and then I stopped it for a little bit because I was trying to sort of restructure it. Yeah. And then I've been made to Bobby for years. Yeah. So Bobby, come on, Matty, come on. Um, and then we came in here, and then that's and then it was fucking. That was about twelve months ago now, I think. You've just... been here from the start in this studio. Um, from when it was the four of us doing it, yeah. Mm. But originally it was me, Gary, and another lad called Alex, and we were recording it in the Baltic Market, and we only done oh, about right. we've done about seven and eight episodes in there, yeah. and then it wasn't really working. So I was yeah. like, right, because because like I'm like I'm very like I'm very protective over it because because yeah. that was the first thing that I'd ever done because that mm. that started sort of like the comedy's picking up 
more and more now yeah, as the months yeah, are going yeah. by. But that the, the the podcast did long before the comedy, before anybody ever took me seriously, and that the podcast was doing its own thing and blowing up on oh, its own. Right. So like. I'm very because that was the first thing I ever did that like really worked. I'm very very protective yeah, over it. Yeah. So like when it when it's it wasn't like working the first it. time, I was like right okay I'm gonna stop doing it and then figure out how to do it properly. And then when I did, and then yeah. and then Bobby and Matty come in as well and it just it it just. Do you overnight. know? Do you understand about all the tech and that? No, no. That's why Gary's here. I think, and that's why I'm so grateful for Gary because I haven't got a fucking clue. <laughs> Me and you just sit in the corner with our dunce. That's I haven't. Like, yeah. I haven't got a fucking clue. Like, I'm trying. I'm trying to learn to do some of the editing. Yeah. Because I want to be able to. I want to. Yeah. Yeah. It's I want to be able to contribute it. more. Yeah. Because like, like it's all good coming in and like and doing it and like and and like. Trying to be the face of it, that's all good and well, mm. but that's 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 the least amount like coming yeah, in and sitting down and doing this, know, like what we're yeah, doing now. Yeah. That's the least amount of work that goes into it. So I want so to be able much to continue. Goes into it, doesn't yeah, it? it's all behind like, the scenes, the and editing and, and stuff. That's so why, I, like, obviously, we're busy anyway, but like Katie, obviously, she's Paul's tour manager and stuff. Yeah, so like Katie, we have to try and fit in doing a podcast, doing yeah. two podcasts a week, then the editing, then like Katie has to take. Because sometimes I'm not there yeah. on certain tours. I'm not there. Yeah. So then Katie has to like take it, and then she has to try and get reels done and mm. blah, blah. and like I don't like I've got a very creative like I'm good like I'm good at going. Oh, you should put that there. Mm. Put that there. So Katie will go. What do you think we should do with this? real yeah like where do you think we should cut it and yeah, stuff like yeah. that and i'm very good at looking and going boom 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 yeah um but when it comes to actually doing that i would listen at the exact same clue i'm good at looking at it and knowing what knowing needs to what be done with timing and but if that, someone and goes like, go on then do it yeah and they, no because i don't know how to yeah. you good with any other tech you, um, you strike me as the kind of guy that would play like games i do, i play i mean i say you play games i'm not very good at them <laughs> I used to be, to be fair, back in the day, I used to be sick of COD. Like, I nearly went... I was very nearly playing Call of Duty professionally. What? I swear that, I swear <laughs> that. Like, like a twitcher. I, I swear yeah. that. I swear, well, that, that. Like, back in the day, I've got, I have, I've, I've got epilepsy. But, all, but, um, but back, like, back in the day, like, because I like, this is the thing, I always knew I wanted to do something. Mm. And I was always like, I was always too much of a shit house to say I yeah, want to be yeah. a comedian. I felt like, I felt like it was like I, I was trying exactly to come out to me or my dad when I was like, I know like what honestly, you mean. I would have rather have told them I was yeah. a paedophile than a comedian, <laughs> honestly, I swear to God. So, like, so I was always like trying to do little live streams, playing games and shit like that. And then there was one Call of Duty in particular. I got really, I was, I was about 18, maybe mm. 19, about between 17 and 19. There was this Call of Duty called Advanced Warfare. And I got really, really good at it. And I ended up playing for this little team. And there was me and these three other little nerds. One of them we still speak to. Now he lives <laughs> in Ireland. I still, we, we still little go on the game together and that. Um, Aaron, his name is. He's a fucking, he's, he's a cool guy. Um, and then, <laughs> so, and then we, were, we were playing loads of little competitions. And then we started winning. Not not all of them. Because we, yeah. we, we were shit for a while. Because we were playing against kids who had been doing that for like years. Yeah, yeah. But then we started getting like really good. And then I was like... When was the last time I interacted with any female? <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, well, I wonder why that is. And then, uh, and then I was like, I looked. Why is there loads of jizz all over my computer? Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 you know, I was like, I, I was looking and I was like, you need, you need to get outside more, you know. Yeah, and, then, yeah. and then I just sort of stopped doing it then. But yeah, it was fucking. I, I like playing games. In, like in my spare time, like like I love playing games and that. But I'm not very good as well as as I've got into me sort of like mid 20s i think my reactions might have slowed down a little bit Do you like board games um i haven't got the i haven't got the, the attention span for board games most I of the time i love a board game i, I like, like them i love puzzles as well i do like them but for like half an hour mm. and then after half an hour i'm like what else does it do we've got another game called come face we haven't got it with us um, is that the one we've got to uh, wank yeah. the thing off and have then you then seen that i've seen video i've never played it yeah um I don't think I could bring that up to the family, to be honest. Like, yeah. Mom, do you want a game of comfort? I mean, it's not so bad. Okay, it, just, it looks a bit jizzy. Yeah, it, it, it's got that sort of translucent yeah, consistency. Yeah. That's fair Ray, enough. Rain and Champ, can I just say? Yeah, she's, champ. she's good. She's good. That's guy. not the brag you think it is. What? I work very hard. I'm fucking great. <laughs> she was actually really good. I've had years of practice over you, though, you know. Yeah, but I I, I played you her brother that. as well. My I played brother her brother. Lost against both of us. Really? Yeah, mm. my brother. My 
four year old brother because he's probably had practice in that in, in that sort of area every he's day for the last 14 years so he years. just gets birds left right and oh, he doesn't need to do you remember your first wank? wank which do you remember your first very wank? very vividly actually i was really? in year six so you're like I wasn't, 10, I wasn't 10, in the 11. school. Yeah, I was about 10, 11. I was in bed. I was, I was just was in years, yeah. but I remember how old I was. Did you do it by accident or did you do it from what you'd what you'd seen? No, so I remember there was a lad that was made with in primary school. Uh, where's this going? And, <laughs> and I give him a whack. No, so um, <laughs> and he he he, he come in because he had an older brother. So his older brother would tell him stuff and then he'd tell us stuff. Oh, right, so he yeah. come in, he's like, Have you any use ever had a wank? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I don't even know what that is. Like, I was like, I've never, I've never heard that oh, word in so my cute. life. Um, and he was like, <laughs> that's so <"What>? cute. <laughs> never had so, a wank. No one that you've named your dog after the paedophile, you know. Um, I leave and then, and then he goes in, he's like, so what you do is like, what, you know when, you, when your dick gets hard? And he'd be like, I'm familiar. And he was like, <laughs> familiar. you just grab it and then you go like that. And then in the end, it'll start tingling. And you come. And I was like, what does come mean? He's like, he's, like, he's like, stuff comes out. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, what's your brother being like, telling you me? Like, ah, 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 I swear that. So I got home that night. And I was like, hmm. I was like, I wonder what these wanks are like. I was, I was in bed. And I, 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 I still remember. I hope my dad doesn't watch this. You know, I hope he never sees this. Because I still remember. My bedroom door was like, just a jar. And he was on the landing. Oh, hanging the washer up. Oh, and he was just lying in bed. And I was like, right, okay, I'm going to have a wank. I was like, I'm going to just so I can go into school the next day. Like, like, I've had guess a wank. what I did? Yeah. And I did it. And then, like, it was weird because I got the sensation at the end, but not on come out. So I was like, is mine broke? Oh. So I just never told anyone ever. How, how would you know, though? Because if that was your first wank, you'd be like, well, that can't have been it. That can't have been it. That can't have been me. Well, no, because he, he, my said, he said something starts tingling and then it happens and then I got that at the end. A tingle. But then nothing come out and I was like, <laughs> where's, all this, where's all the stuff that he spoke of? And then, <laughs> They're still babies. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready yet. But, like, but yeah, it was fucking, I mean, I think maybe 10 was a bit young for, for your first wank. Yeah, I but, reckon. I don't <laughs> So then a second time. Still nothing. Right. I don't think anything did come out until I was like 12. Oh, 13. I, I did in the puberty probably till I was like 15. Oh. That's why I look so youthful. Yeah, you do. Because I didn't, I did, like, I remember I was in year 10 and all the lads were like, I got on my pubes and they were like, show us yours. And I was like, that's just immature. I, was like, <laughs> I, was like, I actually won't be partaking in that. I was like, I'm a bit more advanced than that. Actually, I just, did, I just didn't have any. I didn't have any. Yeah, but I had a flat chest. When I was, and I used to have, it's so like a girl, it's the girl side of things. I, all yeah. these girls used to have these fucking bras. I, yeah. You know, I hit puberty so fucking young. I started my period when I was nine. What? what? Yeah. What the <laughs> fuck? I'm nine. That's not, that doesn't seem That's like not normal. Healthy. I know. It's not, yeah, it was yeah. Halloween as well. I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> right on cue as well. If ever there's a day for it. <laughs> yeah. Was no. it Halloween? It was Halloween, yeah. But by that point, to be fair, right? Like, I got out sick or seat in the guy. Okay. I'd like, I even in regards to like masturbation and stuff and, and tits and ass and everything, like, I was always well ahead of. So you were the wank when you were nine? Pre nine. What? Pre nine? Pre nine. Who the fuck? Who's wanking at seven? <laughs> we spoke about this actually. Mm. And do you know what? Right? I think it's different because. Men have got actual something to grab. Yeah. yeah. So. That's what I mean. Even at 25, I don't leave my... I'm like, I, I'll be sitting on the couch. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's going to be... I'll, I'll be in the bathroom and let's go. It's still, it's still amusing. I'd I've just that, found yeah. it. I would too. love to be able to do that. Um, but we were saying that I have early memories of, like, humping the floor. Yeah. What? I don't... Go, oh, girl, no. Girls don't... They don't masturbate when they start masturbating. No, they, they don't, don't like things. finger. Do you know what I used to do, right? Oh, so I used yeah, to go... I, I'd go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom yeah. in my family home. I remember you tell me this. And I could never do this now because I've got such bad OCD. <laughs> okay. But with the toilet seat down, I would hump the toilet, right? <laughs> then I would, like... I'd, <laughs> Go like that on the toilet paper, so it sounded like I was like on wiping the toilet paper. on the toilet paper. So it like sounded like toilet paper was coming oh off, you know, my finished God, my poop that's or whatever. Next level, that. And then, surely you couldn't come when you were seven. I, I certainly could. What? Not come, yeah. come. Right. This but, is another thing. Yeah. Women, women that I've met have said that there is a difference for them between having orgasm and coming. Yeah, there is. Is there? Yeah. I don't think there is. Oh, for me, yeah. I what? There is. I thought then that's a normal thing to know. No. 
you don't want to walk up this morning. I didn't think I'd be having this conversation, you know. You should have known you when know you're what? coming on right. this podcast, yeah. it's going to get worse. It's, yeah. Brace it's yourself. Just real. It's just true, though, isn't it? It's okay, right. So just out, just out of sheer curiosity, yeah. Just because, like, for, for men, it, it, like, there is no difference. Like, I don't just, know yeah. the difference. It just but happens. There is. Right, because... So, I'm going to tell you now. Okay. So, clitoral stimulation. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Completely different feeling. Yeah. Right? But then penetration... And then, like, come in, like, squirting. No, but I'm not, talk- I'm not talking about squirting. What? So there's three? Yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> I'm not talking yeah. about squirting. I'm talking about just, like, a vaginal orgasm. No, no. If it, Penetration is different to... Or, um, I'm not saying that penetration isn't, but, like, what but is... But it's different for you. It's a different orgasm. I don't get it, though, because, like, I, in That's my experience... Me, I don't come when I have clitoral... It's not like what you have an orgasm. Orgasm, yeah. But for for, for men, see that's difficult for me to sort of say and comprehend because for men Isn't it, it means the well, same. It's difficult for her to comprehend because is it? Fuck, she was seven. She's a seasoned veteran. <laughs> <laughs> you were shagging toilets at like yeah, you're, you're just setting your ways. You're seven. You're setting your seven year old ways. I'm certainly. I don't still hump toilets. Like no, <laughs> it's, it's at least couches. <laughs> yeah. I did do the couch as well, obviously. What? Everyone yeah. has, come on. See, so yeah, I have I done the car. Yeah. I've I never put my dick between cushions. the couch cushions. I don't know how carpet you managed cushion. to do the carpet, like carpet a dog cushion. rubbing its arse along. <laughs> like when a dog gets piles, it's yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, that's why I've got, I, I swear to God, I'm thinking to myself, right, I, I think that's why I've got like a good ass. What? Hump in the floor. Yeah. <laughs> how, do you hump, <laughs> how do you hump the floor? Show me. I'm not <laughs> showing you. I don't understand. I don't do what, it now. On, the, on, on your front. I don't need to on, do it On now. your front. What do you mean? Yeah, so on my front. So you just lie flat like you're yeah, planking yeah. on the floor. Yeah. Like a fish and just, out of water. Like, you know, like a mermaid. <laughs> Wow! Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I still don't know what you mean, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Just like, you know, like when you put your body up like a mermaid like that. Yeah, that's then crazy. You're only really that. getting like you're only really getting like your pubis bone. You're not yeah, really getting yeah, anything. But, yeah, but you like. But that was enough, was it? That was enough. Yeah. That's all I needed. At seven. <laughs> that's mad. Not, that, uh, yeah, I to don't be know honest, how old I was. To be honest, I I was always under the impression, and this might just be a an immature sort of not even an opinion, just the just yeah. how I thought things were. Yeah, yeah. But because obviously, thinking back to like school. Yeah. And in some cases, even college, lads would speak very openly with each other yeah, about, yeah. like, about like wanking and that. Yeah. But, like, if you girls were in school too. and, like, a group of girls here, the group of lads talking about wanking, they'd be like, that's disgusting. So, I, I, girls so, do not talk, especially, in, well, we do. But, what like, girls in school do not talk about masturbation. I don't think, I don't know whether it's changed now. But you would never catch us talking Even about Even, like, w- women now are weird about it. I don't get it. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Yeah. They're weird about it. Yeah. I don't know. I think that, I mean, I think, in, in, I think because, like, to be honest, at least I know me and my mates, I can't speak for every man, but me and my mates, we'll speak about anything wherever we are, and we don't really care who no, he is. It. Like, if you're, like, 90 in the Tesco, if you don't like it, go in the yeah, next aisle, because yeah. we're still going to speak about it. But, like, women in general, I think it's just, they like to sort of keep that sort of stuff... <laughs> Je- yeah. Apart from you two, just in general, <laughs> yeah. well, no, but this keep is it a little bit sort of... Women are <clears throat> filth. Yeah. Women are filth. And I'll tell you something. This is why we discovered this about each other. Okay. Did you both just walk into the toilets and be like, Ah! ah hey. <laughs> After you, go on. Ladies <laughs> first. <laughs> no, but like when we when uh, Katie started working in my salon and stuff, and then we just used to like, we got to know each other and then we just get enjoyment out of talking about the most inappropriate stuff and we didn't care whether clients were there uh, on the bed we'd just talk about stuff and like they just have to get on board and that's it like but or i go to a different salon I, like, I found like i mean i've got some sound mates yeah like but yeah. i've never found a person that is okay with talking about the things that i talk about as much as her like she That's good that you found that. Yeah, yeah. That's nice that. Oh, you no. found yeah, a little, it's accepted. A little it's yeah. accepted. Like we can say anything. There's almost no judgment as There's well. no There's no almost. judgment. Almost. Okay, yeah, okay. Almost. Now I'm interested to know what 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 is the the threshold of judgment? Yeah, what would be? Know. Not you so much, but like what you know what I was talking about that thing and Paul was like, "Hang on a minute." Yeah, but I don't judge you. 
None don't of it. Judge you. Come no. chop. You judge me for come chop. I used to fucking. You judge me for come chop. Lord, it's told you had that before, right? And that is that is honestly one of the most like like look. Everyone, male or female, yeah. has been on Pornhub and got a bit too deep into it. Right, but God. never, ever have I heard of anybody watching a man because. I didn't what? mean to, though, you know that. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, but, like, <laughs> you know, but there's been times, like, you know, when you turn the telly on yeah. and there's something on that you don't want to watch and you go, oh, oh not, yeah. not that even you, you, you necessarily not don't want to watch it, but something else is on that you'll enjoy more. Yeah. You'll turn over. I've never turned the telly on wanting to watch the footy and, and like, the WWE's on and I'll go, oh, well, I'll just leave it on then. But hang on, it, it was part of, it was part of a, a compilation, right? So compilation. A compilation. compilation. <laughs> okay, is, is, that, is that a weird, is <laughs> yes, it? Yes, it is. Do you, what, you must watch porn. I do, but maybe I... May, I, I mean, I must just watch proper vanilla porn then, because yeah, I've yeah. never watched someone wanking to vanilla, ketchup I'm and then vanilla porn. I, I'm a vanilla I, porn. I do not. I didn't want to watch that, but it was too late because I'd already started coming. I couldn't take my hand yeah, away to, be fair, to turn to it that. off. Anyway, this brings me to my list. If we haven't, have we spoken about it? Well, let me just so just clarify. Are you telling me about? Do you know what's funny? Right? I just o- just open my notes up. Yeah. We're all friends here. Okay. Good porn. <laughs> Um, Are they links? Have you got links to the video? You're sick, you know. She 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 saves the links in notes. Yeah, because you know, I don't know. We'll get to like porn talk in a minute. But while I'm talking about this kind of porn, you need to go and see someone. You know, right? I've watched porn before, and I've watched one when I've been like, that was a fucking. You know, when you watch porn, you go, that 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 was a really good one. That the camera angles were good. They were doing the right things. I've never went. I'll save that. But why I do it right is because I like such weird porn and it's so it's amateur, particular. right? You can't like search for a porn star or whatever. And yeah, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's very particular. So I'll save those links just in case I think, oh, that was a good one. But then like how you go on the related videos and then the related videos are those. And that, do you know what I mean? To try and find. That's... Don't look at me like that. <laughs> when she told me she did that, I mean, I found it. Fucking hilarious. It's hilarious, but, I but it, 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 it's, I feel like a psychologist could have a field day with you, you know? Probably. But then they could with all of us. Probably. 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 You know what I mean? I, do you know what, though? In, 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 in saying that, I like to think, uh, considering, like, because I, 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 and I'm very I'm very much of the opinion of nobody who does stuff like, like stand-up comedy and that is, is normal. No. You've always got something. There's always can't a be, reason you're doing shit like that. Like, mm-hmm. My, I think that the, 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 the reason I do it is very similar to a lot of other comedians. When I was a kid, I was a little bit of a muppet. So I was like, I'd, I'd make people laugh. So they'd like, yeah, be like, yeah. oh, he's all right. So it's just a continuation of that, right? But I like to think I'm as normal as can be. That's quite fucked up. <laughs> Saving the links to porn is quite fucked up. fucked up. I think that's it's re- organised. It is. No, it's, it's, o- no, it's organised. <laughs> I give you that, but I've never, I've never known of them. anyone else to do that. I, I a special kind. Of I woman. was. Surprised. What's your favourite? What's your favourite porn category? I don't really like. See, I like to consider myself a versatile guy in yeah. most things. I can play pool with both hands. What matters to you? <laughs> In a put, if you're watching um, porn, okay. what? Okay, that's, you, a that's a good question. Good that's a good question because I've not got a specific category. It's no, just, it's just, I. if I see one that I like the look of, yeah, I'm like, okay, so In mind, the woman has to be attractive to me. The man, I couldn't give a fuck. And I'm straight. Me and you share the same opinion then, because I'm yeah. not really looking at what he's doing. Mm. It's yeah, more yeah. just so a reaction to yeah, what he's doing. Yeah. And so if like, it's too fake and that, I don't like. Yeah, it. I don't like the ones where it's like, do you know, where like he's in the kitchen talking to his mum, and then she's underneath the worktop, like giving yeah, her a chew or something. And then it's like, come, like, and she's come going, on, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're like, your mum's there, and like, yeah. she's not seeing that <laughs> to the camera, and you're like, love, you're not meant to look at the camera. It's meant to be like, yeah. it's not there. I like, okay, I like ones where. It's, it, it's like, it's low budget enough, but still, so, so I like that middle ground between yeah, not I high budget, do. high budget seems too, too much. it seems too, it's got too much Dice. production, yeah. too low value. Like if they're filming it on it's a phone shit. and the phone's like that and you can't yeah. really see what's so going you on. You like that shit, don't you? But like, I, like I, I, I like that, I like the middle ground where it's like, it seems real enough mm. that I could picture myself maybe in that situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Like anything that's anything that's like and, and in some cases as well, I won't watch porn where the girl is like ridiculously attractive. Yeah. Because like I could never shag that. 
Mm. So it's like I'm having I'm having a oh, wank or two or two. two no, 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 no. I mean, look, like, like I'm not I'm not saying I, I like I'm not saying I like I, I've I've slept I know what with you mean ugly there. people. Like, like I like to I like to watch attainable porn. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Attainable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's 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 like like I. Like if the woman's an absolute like p- like perfect ten out of Porn ten star looking, it's like woman. I'm never I'm never gonna watch that because that doesn't seem realistic right. to me. Mm. But if the good look, not not ugly, I'm not a monster. But like <laughs> if if the good looking enough, where to think that's within my sort of yeah potential reach, <laughs> then it's like okay, fair enough. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. That's the same for me, not for the reach thing because uh, all. Like, I think it's different for women, but it's more like I, and also I like big tits. So, yeah, that's that, fair. I, like, if, if it was a girl that had small tits, like fake tits? No. No, I like, I no. like jiggly tits. No. I jiggly f- no. Tits. You don't like what? I'm like, I don't what want I'm massive tits. Yeah, yeah. Like, I just want a real looking girl. Mm. That's yeah, like average looking. You, they, you, you don't want to watch porn with a girl, and it could just as easily be in a film. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Because yeah. it's like if you're like Hollywood, good looking, it's like well, yeah. that that's never gonna happen. Yeah, do you know what I mean? But right, do you know what actually? When I said before, I take no notice of the fella whatsoever. The only thing I take into account mm. is if he's in ridiculously good shape, like oh, bodybuilder yeah. shape. I'm like, I could never imagine that's me. I've yeah. got to be able to imagine it's me in that situation and if he's fucking I like that, then it's like that That could never be me. The men are creeps in porn. I find it creepy. I feel like you've got to be. It in, yeah. Like in, in life as well, though, like IRL, I, I still don't like, like, fucking wham guys that no, are neither do i properly i like in real life i don't yeah i went out of a i went out of a guy that was just a fucking steroid monkey yeah and it, and i like you people thought that that's what i was into and i'm when i say step i'm talking he was like a triangle oh my god like, he was could, a triangle like, couldn't put his hand in his own pocket he was one of the <laughs> biggest guys you've ever seen in terms of shoulders and all yeah, that right that. but what was his the reason why I was attracted to him was not the Harry looks because that was completely the opposite of what I like. Yeah, it was. Um, he was funny. <laughs> Fair enough. He was funny. Fair he enough. was ginger as well, which is like he was seen fu- a pattern. Was, yeah, I know. Seen a pattern. But he, was, kidding, yeah, yeah. he was funny and like he had a bit about him. Do you know what I mean? Like he had a bit of banter and we had Fair enough. Um. But like, I don't know where I was going with this. But yeah, so he, that's not my thing. And if I seen that on porn, it would put me right off. Yeah. Uh, do you know what though? I feel like both men and women, anyone who goes into porn isn't someone I feel like you'd really want to have an at-length conversation with. Yeah. Because I feel like anybody who, who go like, everyone likes shagging. That's no secret, whether you're a man or a woman and you're into men or women. Yeah. Everyone likes shagging. It is what it is. But if you want to base your entire life around that, mm. you are a little bit fucked up. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. There's that's something. A sad, that's so, a sad world. It, it is that. a sad way to live because, like, like, I, like we, we were actually speaking about this. We had Adam Lowe on our podcast last week, yeah, and we yeah. were speaking about this on the Patreon episode. So if you're not on the Patreon, get on the get on the Patreon four pound a month. Yeah. Um, I was just self promoting. Yeah, do it, do it. Um, do it. I, I do it, it all at the end. Do it at the end. I do it do all at the, the end. end. Um, and like. I was saying, like, I don't reckon, I, I and people like women love to say men are insecure for this, but I, it, it's just a preference. I couldn't be with a girl who, who's either in porn or does like OnlyFans nah, nah, because nah. For, for for me personally, like, obviously, I know everybody's got a past. Like, everyone's yeah. someone's ex. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah. So, no matter who you meet. They're not going to be a virgin, especially if you're no. in your mid twenties. And if they are, they're just as weird as someone who's important. Yeah. If you're, now, if you're a virgin, nowadays you're... it's so common to hear of uh, girls that do that, and it's normal. Yeah, and they promote it, and like, but like it's... men are shot down for not wanting to be with a girl who does that. And that I, I like, what about, um, I think it's fair enough. Yeah. What yeah. about if? Is this just like if a woman was? having sex with people or if she was just like posting nudes and stuff on her only fans so although i said that and I, I said that i have a very strong opinion i'm also a hypocrite because i would <laughs> be very open with that because so if i was with the, so if, if i was with a girl and my girlfriend said right look i want to do an only fans my face is not going to be in it and i want to have sex on it but only with you and your face is also not going to be in it 
I'd be like, absolutely. Because yeah. then no one knows it's me and no one knows it's my girlfriend. Mm. But I wouldn't like the idea How of could say you fuck without your face and you'd have to wear masks. Or just or just when you edit it, just sort of crop it. Mm. Yeah, but you know, it depends on much movement there, isn't it? Really? Well, that's true. But I, I so like if 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 you if I had a girlfriend who did OnlyFans, or even let's say you had you you had a girl and your boyfriend did it, right? I wouldn't like the idea of I'm putting the bins out one morning, <laughs> and then my next door neighbour's also putting his bins out, and he goes, "Hey, your uh, missus is fucking," you know uh, what I mean? Because yeah, you have to. There's no dis- there's no discreet. That's the bad. Then you've got you to kill to him. Promote it. You have to promote that you do OnlyFans. Exactly. Otherwise, you like you do. You know, you you have to say, look, I'm doing OnlyFans and promote it yeah. on your socials. Mm. You, it's yeah. not like the escort game where you do it on the slide. I think there's. I I think personally, mm. like like obviously, if you're single, like mm. like because basically we all sort of were on the, the the same page. If if you meet a girl mm. and she already does OnlyFans, that's up to you to make that decision. Then mm. am I okay with it? Am I not? If you are sad, yeah. if you're not, that's also sad. Yeah. But if you're with a girl who doesn't do OnlyFans and then one and then day she, she goes, she I want to do it, mm. I think no matter what side of that relationship you're on, mm. you're well within your rights to be able to go, I prefer you not to, I'm not comfortable with it. Mm. And Because I feel like, the, I feel like although obviously today people are a lot more open than they were mm. even so much as 10 years ago, I think in relationships there's still got to be at least some discretion. You know what I mean? There's got to yeah, be at yeah. least there's got to be at least some things you keep just to do. Yeah. You couldn't walk in the pub, and all the fellas in the pub go, "Ah, your bed box is lovely," you know. Oh, no. And then you've got to be like, "Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> no one wants that." I, well, I, I've, I've spoken about this on the podcast before, but we well, we have. Um, it's been a lot uh, a ongoing theme, but um, I was saying that we was talking about starting a, an OnlyFans, and mine was going to be called Flat Packs and Flaps. Because <laughs> oh, that's a good name, though. That's a good uh, name, though. Do you know who thought of it? Do you know who thought of it? Go on, Paul. He's, he's, he's a he's a funny guy, you know. He's an anomaly of a man, isn't because he? Because I do, I I I'm good at doing flat packs. Flat packs in what like IKEA furniture? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I thought so that he, was like a euphemism. No, he fa- he FaceTimed me, and I was putting my daughter's desk together from IKEA, and I I had to take my top off because I was fucking boiling. <laughs> And then he and I was like, I'm gonna start an OnlyFans. He was like, Yeah, you could call it. And then I had my bottoms off as well. After he called me again, I was putting my table and chairs together. I said, Like, I'm fucking boiling. that to get my pants off. What did you think? It was a whole kitchen unit. And then he was like, Fucking, that's quite sexy. That is. You could start an OnlyFans with that. So that I know. Yeah, the tool belt on, but just yeah, fully naked. Ooh, not ju- yeah. Just no nails the nails. Not, and the two, like- kidding. <laughs> you find me a girl that's on OnlyFans that does flat packs. Yeah. I, do you know what right honestly I bet you there's somewhere on the internet where probably. someone does probably it's gotta be not this, the, I forget what it is it's it's it's. there was this thing on the internet years ago it was like rule something I forget the number it was rule something something mm. and it's if it exists it's there's also internet. porn oh so it's like anything yeah. that exists anything that you can imagine someone somewhere is As making that port yeah. and people are watching it and if it's not then you're on to some yeah, yeah. maybe flat packs maybe yeah. flat packs maybe you and Paul can get together both I mean I don't know about Paul call it flat Paul packs Paul shit flat at packs. DIY huh flat packs flat packs yeah flat, flat pack, 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 packs flat, 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 an apostrophe either side of the P like in the Toys R Us thing yeah <laughs> flat packs flat packs flat packs <laughs> <laughs> but um, so I said to Paul would you mind, like, how would you feel about it? I was just interested. Yeah. And he was like, I'll be all right with it, you know. I went, but really, though, let's just close our eyes. Right? <laughs> let's paint a picture. And let's just think about it. Actually, me actually doing that, right? You don't know. I don't know who subscribed. Do you know what I mean? I was, telling Danny, subscribe? I was telling Danny about it, and Danny was like, like, ah. Uh, he was like, that'd be funny, like, that everyone can just see Paul Smith's wife's yeah, flat. This, this is what I'm saying. Are. Yeah. That's but I'd make fucking dough. Yeah, you would. <laughs> yeah, but you could, you could, like, see, <laughs> this, this is the thing. It's like, especially with the internet now, you see it all the time. Like, people are doing OnlyFans and they get leaked all the time as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it's exactly. So then, That's so the then thing. if you're doing OnlyFans, <laughs> then all your shit gets leaked. Do you know why I wouldn't do it, right? It's because, I mean, because... 
if I did that, it wouldn't be as in a sexy way. I'd make it a bit funny, mm. so it'd be funny. Properly steel toe cap boots in there. <laughs> yeah, Weird. it'd be funny. I'd hat. have to make it funny. I couldn't be yeah, like, sexy enough. or like, oh, look at me. It should sound like Patreon might... then. It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 top tier. That's what it sounds yeah. like. Top tier? Yeah, top yeah. tier. Um, but it's my kids. That's what I'd... Um, yeah. My, my, I mean, they're older now, so they're a bit more... They're adults now, so... See, I yeah, had but the, my younger one yeah. isn't... I had this conversation... Not even that long ago. It might have even been on the podcast. I can't even remember, but yeah. I remember having the conversation. And it's like, when I was in school, I, I remember I got I got picked on. for Because there was, I, I tried to, cause in, in, in a sort of last ditch attempt to make myself seem interesting mm. to women. I, was, I, was, I say women, we were all 14. Um, <laughs> I was like, right, I'm, I'm going to be different to all the other lads. I'm not going to get a backpack. I'm going to get a satchel this year. Fuck, it's not a person, it's a satchel. It's a satchel. It's so, a satchel. So I, I got a satchel. And was I ripped for it straight mm. away. No, it was like it was like a sort of like you know, those brown like, one. Like retro, no, 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 no. No, those retro with the originals ones. Oh yeah, that like the flat ones. No, it, it was like a zip one. Oh, but it, had, it was like sky blue oh. and leather. Oh, <laughs> like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. I know what yeah. You're on about not then. not a bag that a man should carry no. under any circumstance, and and like, like even if you're a suicide you're bomber 14, and you're blowing though. it up, get a different bag. Yeah. So I was ripped for that bag for six months, and I only carried it for three weeks because of how badly I was getting took took the piss out of me for it. <laughs> so imagine how much worse I'd have been bullied if instead of going, "Haha, your bag shit," it's yeah. "Haha, there's your, your mum, there's your ma <laughs> flicking a bean there, and it cost me seven quid to see that." Mm. That's two yeah. days of, of of school dinners. See, I wouldn't even flick my bean. I'd just put the flat packs together. That is all I would do. I don't like it's only fans that you need. I think it's a CSCS card, you know. <laughs> I never need to get on site because you're always like, I'll just, I'll be fully clothed. I, 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 I've, got, I've got a Maybe mallet. I get hot. <laughs> I've, got, I've, got, I've got a mallet. I've got my steelies on. You, you just need to get on site. That's all that is. I think I do, you know. <laughs> That's all I it think is. I'd be a sick library, you know. You I, 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 I don't reckon I could, me, because when it gets cold, I couldn't do it. True. In the summer, I'd be up for it. Mm. I'd carry fucking get your top off and whatever. That. I wouldn't take my top. I'm not. I'm, I'm not in good enough shape to work on site topless. I'd at least just Who keep says? the t-shirt on. Who says? Me personally, if I was to take okay. my top off on site, yeah. I'd at least want to be in slightly better shape. Yeah. Just so that, like, like, just, 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 just for my own ego more than anything else. Mm. But like, as soon as it started getting like below twelve degrees, mm. and maybe like. Your fingers get a little bit cold. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, <laughs> you I'm going home. Pussy. I am. I'll, I'll openly admit, I am the least. I bet you burn so easy, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I get sunburned <laughs> so easy. Anything above sixteen degrees, I'm like, I'm staying indoors for your own safety. I'm not going not anywhere. In safety. You don't burn. I don't think I can burn. I think you're the only friend that I've ever had that can handle the sun better than me. I can't though. I don't like being hot. Like. Do you remember when we were in Turkey and I had my face was just not in it? Because I can't handle being hot, but I, d- yeah, I will but not burn. burn. No, I'll just but, go but black. I mean, I've always, had mates, <laughs> I've always had mates that when we go on holiday, like they're in the shade under the umbrellas and I'm like, burn me. No, nah, <laughs> I, I burn too. I, I, the thing is, is, I don't even go from like like pasty to tanned to burnt. I just go from pasty to like bright red and then <laughs> there's no in between. I, I like my face tans, but like, yeah. me, but like, like everything else is burns. That's it. That's it. Yeah, and cold, if I'm in the sun for too long as well, my hair goes like bleach blonde too. Right. Should we? Um. Should we do? Should I, Shall I do? The would you rather's that I asked Danny. I'm up for a little round of would you rather. It's one of my favourite games. There. Yeah. <laughs> it is. I usually write some for each guest, but I didn't get a chance. Yeah. I feel like th- those ones... Don't open your notes again. I've seen more than enough what's in your <laughs> notes, to be honest. Have you been asked about the forwards or backwards one? The mum and dad one? Mm. Yeah. And the right answer is you go backwards because this is the thing. And it might not be the same for everybody, but me and my dad, I've got like, me and my dad, they're close. Like, there's not much me and my dad don't speak about. So, like, in that, like, if I was to go forward and... Do that to my mother. <laughs> I, out of respect for her, would either just never speak to her again or have to kill myself. Yeah. Right? I now, whereas if that was with my dad, I think maybe not straight away, but eventually, yeah. that would be something me and him could just laugh off laugh and joke about. about. 
least we never died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so how old was I? Know what I mean? And he had tighter. Like, <laughs> like, like, I think you stayed in there for longer than you had to, but it's okay, it's okay. You, you know what I mean? Pregnant. But like, but yeah, like, I feel like, 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 but I feel like I feel like for any for any lad in that situation, you, you you'd have to go backwards because yeah. You see, I'm uh, as a woman, mm. I would go forward. Yeah, because because that wouldn't be a real dick. Yeah, you'd have to wear a strap on yeah, for that. Just so, imagine that so, you did have a real dick. No, 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 no. But like, but you can't do that you for can't? this situation. It's got to be. It, it, it's got to be it's very. Be a female. For the, yeah, no, no but, no, but she's not she though. Knows. So for this situation, it's got. So, so that would need Balls. to be. Why would you have to add stuff in? <laughs> Katie likes to do this. She likes to get a would you rather and really and she, likes add, she likes to add yeah. unrealistic things in that, and then it makes it not real. Yeah. See, the, 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 this is the thing. Not in that situation. That wouldn't be a real dick. That would be a strap on. Yeah. Right. So, you. Actually, haven't done anything exactly. But you've got to think about it from my vagina. perspective. That's my actual dick. All right, hang on yeah. then. Very so different. For you, forwards or backwards? But if you're going forwards, then you've got a finger. But that's not the it? same question. Why are you doing it? This is similar. It? Would you rather shag your mum or your dad? That's what. Would you rather? Uh, yeah. Look at me in the eyeball. Look at me. Would you rather fuck your mum or let your dad fuck you? Well, you, you you mean finger my mum? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, then no, because if, if, if we're saying if if we're saying fuck your mum, you can't just finger it. You've got to like you've got to go like the hot like you've got to have full yeah. on lesbian intercourse right, with your yeah. mum. Oh God! Choose quick. Choose. I can't fuck my dad because that would just ruin our relationship. I can't. So you I fucking can't. Debbie. You're going down I on think Debbie. It, no, but it would ruin going my dad. On <laughs> She's on a Debbie downer. <laughs> you never know. Debbie could be wild. Who's you might have a great time. Debbie. Debbie downer. Oh, God. What's the consequences if I don't? I die. You die? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, it'd have to be Debbie. Because mm. that weirdness, like, we've me and my mum... Like, I love her to bits, yeah. Mm. She could have a nice box. She probably has. Fox. <laughs> <laughs> That's your actual mother. I've just said that about you. I'm so she sorry. She have a nice box. Uh, you never know, though. I never... Well, it's not about that, is it? I think... Oh, no, it there's is. There's more detriment it's to much about that. mine and my dad's and my dad's mental health than me and my mum. Because me and my mum could just go, right, logically, Katie's going to die so this is what we're going to have to do, Mum. And she'd be like, my dad would be like, oh, no, no, I can't. He'd be, he'd, he'd ruin him. That's fair enough. That is my fair enough. My mum is, uh, like, she'll be like, okay, we're just going to do this. She's a soldier, my mum. That's oh. fair. My dad wouldn't cope. That's a very nice way of thinking about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Would you rather? Okay. Okay. Piss acid. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Or shit melons. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine him shitting melons. Keep breaking off. <laughs> you never know. You might have a gaping asshole already. <laughs> well, after me dad's been too. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think. Right. I'd have to go with piss acid. Because, okay, what type of melon? A large one. Okay, but what type are we talking like, like? Watermelon. Watermelon. Yeah. Honeydew melon, which seems like possibly doable. No, because that's tapered, <laughs> isn't it? It's a bit tapered. It's sort of like a yeah, water no. type shape. Watermelon. Oh, it has to be piss acid because if, uh, as much as I feel like at the time it'd be excruciating, a piss lasts what maximum yeah. 90 seconds and it might burn for a minute afterwards, so that's what two, yeah, three minutes. Okay, but forever, yeah. But imagine every time you shit, you've got to shit something out that big, yeah. But your ass would just be like, <sighs> by yeah, the so end of it, I'd die after one of them. No, you wouldn't, your ass would just it would just become accustomed it to it. Definitely wouldn't, I'd definitely die after that like, because you've got to think about it with the shit that whole melon, it's in me. You've got to hold that melon somewhere, haven't you? To you shit it out. Yeah, I hate it when people like stop thinking so logically. Yeah, we have to be, it, it would be inside but me, you're but being it would be it's coming out of me, <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be in me to come out of me. You know what I mean? It doesn't just appear, yeah, I'm in you. And, and this is how I look at it, my stomach is already holding the most yeah. corrosive acid known to man. And I, 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 yeah, sad. I've got a hole. And, and what if, and what if I've had loads to eat the next day? Maybe there's two melons. <laughs> <laughs> it's curing. It's a queue yeah. of melons. Final answer: piss acid. Oh. Yeah. All right. 
She's a fucker for adding things in, isn't she? I'm trying to think of some myself now. <laughs> Would you rather? <clears throat> okay. Drink a pint of cold dog piss or a warm pint of tramp's jizz. Dog piss? Really? Yeah. Because, right, again, I know you say, I hate when you apply logic, but you've, you've got, <laughs> you, you've got That's to. All you've got. You've got to, right. That's so you've got. So, regardless of whose cum it is, right, you've got a pint of cum there. Now, do you know when you go to Five Guys and get a milkshake? <laughs> Halfway down, you're like, maybe I, maybe I didn't need the whole milkshake. Didn't need all of it. You've got to drink a pint of, like, thick... Thick. It's thick. the consistency, it's, isn't it's it? It's more so the consistency. He's well hydrated. It's not yeah. that thick. I said no, the same No, but it's, 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 it's a, still a lot thicker than piss. You can get the piss down quicker. You can get that over and done with, and it yeah. probably, and, like, and, and like I feel like, I mean, I've never, I've never had cum in my mouth. Hopefully never do. But I feel like after, even after you've swallowed that, there's still going to be residue of it in your mouth, whereas the piss, you drink that, you swill your mouth up with water. It's gone. All dog right. piss. Alright. And, and in all fairness, my dog has accidentally, when it was a puppy, put a stick in my mouth. <laughs> and that's the... And that Hang is, on a minute. That is... That is... This child accidentally put his no, dick no, no, in my mouth. Not, not, not a child. <laughs> me, me dog? Yes, I heard that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> when did you say he's a child then? Don't try and make me out to be a paedophile. Yeah, but no, we're going to cut this so yeah. it's like, nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's ended on that. No, right, so let me tell you this. It's How all you does a so, dog accidentally get his dick in your right, mouth? So he was a puppy. Ugh. And I thought, I thought, so it was an accident. I've had them and I've done, no, so, so <laughs> he was a puppy and he, our dog, Ernie, he's only quite little anyway. He's a Jack oh, okay. Russell cross with a border collie. He's only, he's not much, he's, not, he's probably, he, he's a little bit shorter than, than Pablo. Yeah. So he, he's, but he's quite stocky. But when he was a puppy, he was just this little, just this little sausage and he yeah. was lying on my chest and I was lying on the floor with him we'd only had him like I think it was maybe so it might have been either the first or second night we actually had this fucking dog yeah. and like he's lying on my chest and then he sat up so I've been lying there like like, like playing with him and he's like just jumped forward he's been going ah oh, playing with him and his dick oh the dog's pulling the table <laughs> are you okay are you okay you fucking hell man um, and, and, as he's, he's like, heard you suck the dog's dick and he's like and as he's like jump forward I went oh and his dick just went oh, and, I, and that was that but yeah but yeah the dog pissed oh, I'd rather drink dog piss than, than, than not just even homeless man's come any man's come alright Pablo's like this is my kind of guy would you rather <laughs> this is okay I'm gonna fire one of these back yeah. no. you've got to do the gun yeah. fingers that's nothing okay would you rather yeah have to swap your dildo for a cactus for a month, or every time you have a shift for a month, it's a cactus. <gasps> but do you, how, but do you have how to much? Do you, how much do you have to masturbate? I was just going to get into the in, into this into the specifics into the semantics of this. Yeah. You've got to masturbate as frequently as you shift for this to make it oh. an even question. So once a day, or not for you actually? Yours is what every every week. Okay. <laughs> probably, probably. Shit, because I feel like my ass. Well, my asshole is definitely more robust than my vagina. I feel like I could take it better. But would it not be harder to get a cactus out of your asshole than it would be easy to get one up? Yeah. You, you no, 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 no. Definitely a shit. Definitely. Fair play. Fair play. Can you? Yeah, use because lube? I suppose. Um. What when you're shitting? No, like if it was a dildo. Well, no, because you wouldn't need to if you did the normal dildo. So I'm not going to start. How do you know that? You do. Do you? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's rubbery and it's like sticks to your... Well, I, I, sorry, I, I've never used one. I wouldn't know. <laughs> use <laughs> like, one on, on your missus, not use one. Well, no. Got his dick, in not No, if I got dick. Got yeah. a slippery dick. Slippery <laughs> dick. Slippery <laughs> dick. <laughs> Slip yeah, <I> girl. <laughs> <laughs> slippery <laughs> dick. <laughs> well, it's not dry dick, is it? Not after it's been inside. Nah. No. Um, I think I would rather shit cactus. Yeah. Yeah. We're saying all in shit I'll cactus. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you for why. Okay. Right. Because if you're shitting the cactus out, you ain't got a choice. It's there and it's got to come out. Whereas the cactus to go mm. inside you, you have got to physically, mentally, mentally prepare yourself mm. to actually do that act yourself. Whereas the shit, the shit cactus has got to come That's out. That's fair. Yeah. Shut up, you. That's fair enough. Yeah. Okay, that's a fair answer. Hit me with some more of your questions. I'm very intrigued. 
Could would you back? rather? Okay. Stop it. Fuck a goat. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Fuck a goat, and no one knows that you fucked a goat. Oh, yeah. Or don't, and everybody thinks that I have. Yes. Um, I'll tight the goat. Very tight. Then yeah. <laughs> Because then at least I can close my eyes and just think of something else. But it smells like a goat. It smells really go goaty. Like, go like that. It's, Pablo. Fu- it's furry. Shh. Pablo. I could, I, it is what it is. I'd rather I'd rather no one know I've fucked a goat than everyone to think I've fucked a goat. What if the goat's got AIDS? <laughs> what? Just, just put a Johnny on. You put a Johnny on? If we shagging a goat then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But only a goat if you know it's got AIDS. Even if I don't know it has, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm <laughs> not taking any before. I don't, know how much, I don't know how much of a slag that goat's been. I might not be its first. How many it could, goats is that goat? could have been other men. Count? But yeah. All right, what if, what if you can't use protection? The goat's got AIDS. Okay, but then I'm not shagging the goat then. So you'd rather someone think that you shagged a goat with AIDS? They think that you've got AIDS because now? Because then I can still live safe in the knowledge. Yeah, but how will they, g- no one's going to have sex with you. Yeah, but the, uh, listen, people will shag <laughs> anything. <laughs> People will shag anything. If you told me that you had AIDS, I must yeah. think it was. I mean, there's got to be some some woman out there in in this in in, in the massive array of of, of existing <laughs> human women, yeah. who could look past the fact that I've shagged a goat. I could look past the fact that you've shagged a goat, but yeah. I couldn't look past the fact that you've got AIDS. Yeah, but if I, <laughs> right, if I haven't shagged the goat, yeah, I've not got AIDS. But I think that you have because you haven't shagged the goat, so everyone thinks. Well, then all I've got to do is go and get tested for AIDS, and then go look. I've I not got, got AIDS. AIDS. I haven't got the goat AIDS. No goat the AIDS. The AIDS. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep applying the most the most solid logic to these questions yeah, as I should. can. I believe that you right. should. Thank you, Lord. One more. Yeah. One more. Right, and it's not a would you rather. Yeah. It's a question. Mm-hmm. Are racist people racist towards albinos? Well, I, as a I, as a astute and profound racist, I can't, no, I'm only <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know because our albinos are race. They are. They're, they're like the blackest people, but they're also the whitest people. Yeah. yeah um, oh, are you speaking specifically about black albinos? But the yeah, albinos so, yeah. are. Are aren't they? Are they all? Are they no, all? They're not all. No, you can okay, go. Okay, black albinos then. If you was a racist, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's just hypothetically speaking, if you was a racist, okay, and a white, a, 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 an albino black man walked in here, you're a proper racist, like proper full on, okay, yeah, and a, and a really the whitest man you've ever seen, the whitest black man in, you've ever seen, yeah, mm-hmm. well, the whitest man you've ever seen because they're whiter than white people. Yeah, I know, but yeah. they're technically black, aren't they? Mm. Would oh. you feel hate towards him? Like as a, normal, a racist, like, as a racist, you but you'd be confused because he's so white. He's you can't white say you, oh, the colour and all this because it's not. Then it's not about the colour, is it? So what is it about? I think right, racism doesn't necessarily come down to the hatred of the colour of someone. I think it comes down more so to the hatred of people who are just different than you are. Yeah, yeah. And whether it comes from a sort of deep rooted fear of things that are different or yeah, just yeah. the hatred of things that are different i'm not making excuses for them yeah. but it, c- it could come from a fear of maybe not the the for, for lack of a better term a fear of the unknown <laughs> in a way but i've lost track of where i was going there i said too many words in a short space no, of time because you, you you're saying it's not a, f- a fear of the it's not uh, about the color i it's think it's about more about the the the, 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 the difference yeah mm-hmm. so in, yeah in i think i think they would be like bullies yeah. in school and it's like oh you're like you know people who go oh you're not one of us so like yeah and like, where, you, pi- where you pick on people's differences and stuff like that like a pack mentality in yeah, it yeah yeah mm. that's what it is i feel like they would still be right, because then it would be like saying would they still be racist towards mixed race people because mixed race person even though they may appear to be more black than they are white if their yeah. mother is white and the dad's black yeah, or vice yeah. versa there is still yeah, a bit, I don't know. Maybe that sounded racist. I yeah. don't know. No. Yeah, I'm, but, a bit, I'm offended. Well, don't listen to us. Don't plague me with your problems. <laughs> <laughs> she, 
We, we like to call them blackish. That's Black the. Uh, <laughs> I think that is racist. You know what? I think that oh is God, racist. Right. So I was having my lashes done this morning. She yeah. goes, "Have you seen that program, Blackish?" And I was like, "I've <laughs> got to tell Laurie about this." It's like just me like that. It's like a black modern family. Yeah. Have you ever seen Modern Family? Yeah, yeah. It's like it's it's like a it's like it's like imagine if the Dumfries were black. Yeah. That's I what know, that pro- yeah. it's, fuck, it's funny as fuck. Yeah. It's a really good program. You watch that. Yeah. Yeah, I've always like it's like an ongoing joke. I always be like, You're not black, you're blackish, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> blackish. A little bit. I'm so glad it was you that said that on yeah, camera yeah, well, and not me, I you know. Like, you know, I am allowed. Fair enough, fair enough. You've got I'm the allowed. pass, you've got the hall pass. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that to anyone else but my friend. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> she accepts it, that's fine. That's she fair enough. Funny. Is she everything okay? Are you alright? Are you okay? <sighs> Can we turn the cameras off? And we're done. So we've got a new toy, guys. Guys, guys, guys. We've got a new toy. So excited! <laughs> so excited about this so toy. We uh, we ordered a really funny toy. So we've decided that every guest that we have, we're going to get them to go on this. What are we going to call it? Wobble. Vibration. No, that's too much. It's a vibrator. It's the vibing. It's the human the vibrator. Board. <laughs> um. The brow board. We're going to call it the brow board. Brow board. board. Um, and the game is you've got to try and the guest has got to try and draw their eyebrows on while they lay on the on the brow board, <laughs> right? So excited. And uh, Danny yeah. is our first contestant. <laughs> Woo! We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cut this down. We're gonna set it up and um, season a bit. What well, does right, you feel right. very balanced? You know, <laughs> slow it down. Slow it down. It's a fucking low life Can I start yet? No. Yeah. No. 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 What number no. is it on? It's on now. Is it? Yeah. I can feel my whole spine moving. I'm afraid I'm slipping off it. <laughs> what is that on? That looks really okay. low still. It doesn't feel really low, you know. All right. Can I go yeah, now? Go! I can't see. Go on! Right there, that's what we're going to be like. Hold on. Right there. I can't see the mirror, it won't stay still. Okay, it goes to the other one. Switch hands. <laughs> what are you doing? It's not a fault. The sound is dead now. <laughs> okay, I think I've got them. I think I've got them. Do you want to start as well? Do you want to start? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Here we go. Oh. Oh. Enjoy that. Ah, oh, that's not a good look. Oh, that is. That's quite good. That's not a good look. That. Let's take a photo. Well, well, well. Well, wow. well, well, indeed. How did you find that? Um, is it fun? It was fun. Fun, fun is a word. <laughs> It is a weird it's thing, a word, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was different, let's yeah. just say. I think it's more fun for the watcher. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot, if I was watching someone else do that, I'd, I'd really oh, enjoyed yeah, that. Yeah. But trying to hold the mirror steady. And the pencil yeah. steady while my face is also moving. <laughs> and it was weird because my actual face was moving Maybe. in different times to the rest of my head as well. <laughs> you couldn't really get the time and very good on that. My oh. chins were like, Ugh. my cheeks. <laughs> Your cheeks. Yeah, I got myself in we slow done motion. We done Katie in slow motion. It was fucking. <laughs> be funny in slow motion, yeah. actually, to be fair. It's fun. Um, well, thank, thank you for, for having me though. I've had a lot of fun. It's yeah, been it's been know, it's definitely it's been, been a, a, a roller coaster. <laughs> Tell us about your podcast quick. Um I do a podcast called The What's Happening Podcast. You can find it on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Musical Podcast, whatever whichever one it is. Spotify, YouTube and whatever other platform you get your podcasts on. It's uh, Instagram's What's Happening Comedy. And that's the Patreon us. is oh the Patreon the, there's a link to the Patreon on the Instagram and Patreon dot com forward slash, slash I think it's what's, what's happening, happening pod. pod that's the one oh you have you researched that all the way thank you but yeah, that's, 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 what, what, that's what we that's what we say all the time but up oh, browse and hose pod that's what it is yeah that's the one and then my Instagram is just Danny Davies comedian feel free to 
screenshot that video and send me send me whatever screenshot yeah. you get from that I look forward to seeing them I can't wait to make the thumbnail for this one. Oh my yeah God, that's yeah. gonna be uh, that's gonna be fun but yeah no, thank you for having me I've had a really good time uh, thank thanks, you thanks Dan thank you so, so um, Nori ain't gonna be here for the uh, Patreon no, episode no sorry she's guys she's swanning off to fucking Venice yeah whatever and yeah, she's yeah. Venice darling yeah she's very busy I'm very busy with my <laughs> husband business dick. trips to Venice is it <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah but um Danny McLaughlin's going to come and be Laurie for the day. Ah. So, you'll see me. Do you, re- do you reckon we should get Danny to, like, do impressions of me? Yeah. Yeah. I think he'll smash it as well, you know. Do you re- I reckon he will. I reckon right, he I will. I reckon I'll be offended. I reckon he will. <laughs> I reckon he will. He will. He will. He will. He will. He will. I reckon, he will. He will. I reckon Danny will do a great impression of me. Now Laurie's balls have dropped. Right. Can we sign off? Yeah.